For my hypothesis about the relative distribution of sweat glands on the palm and forearm, justify your hypothesis. The bond paper for this simple experiment has been pre-ruled in centimeters square. Put on disposable gloves and cut along the lines to obtain the required squares. You will need two squares of bond paper, each one centimeter by one centimeter, adhesive tape and a betadine swab and a cotton tip swab. Paint an area of the medial aspect of your left palm. Avoid the deep crease lines and a region of your left forearm with the iodine solution and allow it to dry thoroughly. The painted area in each case should be slightly larger than the paper squares to be used. Have your lab partner securely tape a square of bond paper over each iodine painted area and leave the paper squares in place for 20 minutes. If it is very warm in the laboratory within this test is being conducted, you can obtain good results within 10 to 20 minutes. After 20 minutes, remove the paper squares and count the number of blue to black dots on each square. The presence of a blue-black dot on the paper indicates an active sweat gland. The iodine in the pore is dissolved in the sweat and reacts chemically with the starch in the bond paper to produce the blue-black color. You have produced sweat maps for the two skin areas.